build and the uh, in box review of the Prince Eugen from the house Oker. This is the Prince Eugen as you can see in 1 to 200 scale uh, very well detailed ship. These are Oker images by the way priority of Oker and as you can see lovely lovely detail. It comes as usual with all the metal pieces um, all the timber that you need, all the wood that you need um, beautiful beautiful one to one posters which can help you along the way with your visual uh, support of the build uh, this beautiful metal name plaque um, all the Arado which of course Prince Eugen, Bismarck uh, the Arados were just shadows that were always present there and I'm going to uh, build this one along with of course HMS Victory and uh, the Amerigo Vespucci also uh, from the same house um, last week or two weeks ago I made the inbox review of that video also so if you want to check it out and this is a lovely lovely kit as always i hope you enjoy this kit and i hope you enjoy above all this video the instructions it's ochre quality hd pictures photographs plenty of visual id and help for you to build uh, and go along with the detailed text of it there's no way you can mess this one up right i don't know i'm sure i will make something uh, on this some mistake on this but i am sure also that it will be uh, amendable it will be very well corrected because th these images as you can see are awesome and can you check out that photo edge detail well I will show you every detail on this kit and you will be amazed by it. These wood parts, MDF laser cut wood, as you can see, nothing new here, uh, except they fit like Lego. On my Albatross, uh, on the Amerigo Vespucci, they just fit perfectly. Very well cut, very well uh, cleaned detail. All you need to do is detach it and just sand it a bit, those little lumps of um, uh, wood that you know you have to remove. And these are the paints that also Ochre sent on the kit. Um, it will help me paint the, the, the model. And on this tube, um, the one to one posters of the Prince Eugen in a uh, real size uh, length and measurement of the kit. Okay, one to one. It's on my wall right now. Uh, these are very good posters, um, you know you to hang on on the wall but they are very useful as you can see for you to use it on the build
And now the photo wedge uh, sheets. You can see railings, everything. Everything is detailed and highly detailed on this kit. My idea is that you build first the MDF um, wood, the structure, and then the um, photo edge set comes on top and ends up with de the detail of all uh, the superstructure of the kit. Ingenious, it's a genius way to do it. Um, several builds are doing it. Um, I use also photo edge on HMS Victory, which is it's 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 um, kind of a nightmare but it makes it beautiful it makes that kit beautiful and this one is also no exception And we start the build uh, per se. Before starting, make sure you have all the support material for assembling the model, uh, the assembly instructions, step-by-step -step pictures, the plans, templates, printed to scale, all the wood uh, amount, um, everything is in place, all the photo edge uh, sets, compare it with the instructions, okay? They are all numbered uh, and you start the assembly. Use a cutter, and making sure you do not put your fingers along the cutting line which kind of it's kind of obvious but that happens a lot <laughs> been there done that um, you remove the parts from the wooden sheet eliminate all uh, the sprues that hold them in place and then in continuation smoothly sand down the parts using fine grains of sandpaper or sanding sticks or whatever you eliminate the pickup of the parts, okay? Don't forget the numero, uh, numerical order indicates the order in which the different parts must be made up and fitted, okay? Regarding the strips and rods, these models incorporate a variety of different types of strips and rods, which make, uh, which to make, I'm sorry for my English, but it's to make the different parts of the kit. Uh, the lists of parts, proportions, information on the type of material and measurements. In some cases, it is advisable at least to adjust the measurements on the basis of the model itself, okay? As assembly goes along and progresses. In this way, you will achieve a better fit, believe me. The final position in which needs to be set instantly is defined by the care and careful you have previous uh, previously it's recommended for fitting small parts and i would do that if i were you um, i learned that on my albatross contact or cobbler's glue it's well it's needed uh, for gluing into place the parts that are covered with fine wood veneer set instantly in all cases always follow manufacturer's recommendations i'm always saying that and it's true. Each glue manufacturer, go figure why, has its own instructions. One say you have to wait five minutes, another you have to, five, to wait ten. Um, as long as you get the job done, that's what matters. Remember those little lumps of wood that I removed from the deck? Uh, I am using that in order to fit this reinforcement, okay? This is not permanent, I will remove this, but it will help that piece to fit accordingly.
hand, as you can see, I prefer in the beginning of the build to separate all the pieces after they are numbered. Okay, guys, so in order for you to not um, make it wrong and prepare it on each piece and put it aside. And when you start building, you do it from zero to 100. Uh, without stopping for sending you suffer on the beginning and then you take the credits that's kind of the way I, I see it Always check regularly if the angle is at 90 degrees. I use uh, a piece of a sprue, the wood sprue as you can see. <laughs> sprue, sprues for plastic, right? But you know what I mean. Um, I use it, uh, it's very helpful because it's small, it's handy. And don't forget, always check the angle. Check the alignment, okay? Um, these pieces are pretty much uh, self-explanatory. If something is wrong, you will notice it. Because if something is wrong, you cannot fit properly the piece. However, always check the alignment.
here I'm just dry fitting the pieces guys uh, but when I filmed this I thought it looked so cool so uh, I don't know relaxing that I'm not going to uh, film the part where I add the glue just fitting the pieces but remember put some glue in it Remember what I told you in the beginning? They fit like Lego. Yeah. And now we sand uh, the surfaces, just making sure everything is smooth at the same level, you know? Sanding uh, compensates for um, every small um, correction. Uh, sometimes you don't put the, the, the piece right exactly what it is, so sanding is going to help a lot. And here, this is um, balsa wood. I cannot describe it as other than balsa wood. So you have to be firm, steady, but at the same time, be careful. Don't bend too much, otherwise it will break. However, the pieces fit very well, but you, nonetheless, you have to be careful. See, it's easy. They fit very, very well. Some of you guys wrote me uh, messages, mails, asking how do I find the correct uh, stick, wood stick, wood piece to assemble in the build. Um, usually there are instructions. This is um, mainly a short explanation. Well, you have to build these pieces here. So you have to know the distance, right? You have to measure it. Then, after measuring it, you go to the instructions on that step, you get the correct thickness, shape and length that you will have to cut the piece in these instructions, okay? So right now, as you can see, we know that this is probably the C24 piece. Here it is, C24, we will have to cut. C24 has a specific length uh, measurement, thickness and shape. 
and it's on this one here see 24 we will need 8 4 by 4 for uh, 6.5 centimeters in length lime wood so this way you know which piece it is you cut it you measure it you cut it very carefully and after all this you put it with some white glue ca glue whatever on your build just wanted to say this is only my experience it's the way i do it it's very linear i follow the instructions sometimes i get some comments that i could do it this way that way it's better to do it this way that way guys you do it the way you have fun with it my life is way too serious day by day for me to bring that seriousness into this hobby okay if you take this hobby seriously as your life good for you okay i take this hobby for me to have a little bit of fun a little bit of peace wreck rest relaxation and i respect every opinion but this is just the way i do it here truth is I could do this uh, with the model um, on his side I'm just doing this and the piece is just running uh, dripping along the vertical because I want to show you on video Now we are going to cut this uh, wood block uh, to size and we are gluing it between the cavern spaces as reinforcement pieces. Uh, we're going to use then a cutter to rough out the reinforcement um, extra. I know that this is a very thick um, piece of wood, but actually it's very soft. So be careful when you're cutting it, okay? Also be careful when you're cutting out uh, the, the excess uh, out of the hull, because it's, it looks very, uh, I know it looks thick and it is thick, but it's very soft.
And now very carefully we start with an exacto blade knife um, removing the excess material from the wood blocks. As I told you, be careful, it's very soft wood as you will see in images. After reinforcing the hull with those uh, wood blocks, we start sanding from the stern and working towards the bow. The reinforcement and the edges of the frames must be roughened without deforming their original shape. Okay guys, don't forget it. Keep the original shape, otherwise you will have serious trouble. Um, it should be sanded down to the curves, uh, to the curvature of the hull, okay? and it should be down symmetrically that is the right side obviously identical to the left side for the central area of the hull I recommend using a sanding block with a larger surface area um, sanding should be progressive and smooth of course in the bow area start sanding from the bow work towards your way aft um, use a button to check that the sanding is correct okay when the time comes don't forget, take your time, do it slowly. Um, as you can see here, I am surrounded by seagulls and, and all that, but I am doing it by hand without using electrical tools and slowly. Uh, this hull frightens me a bit because it was a metal hull, um, very smooth, and this is a wood ship, so be careful with those uh, corrections on the hull. And now we're starting to prepare the deck, the main deck, to receive the planking. And if you are seeing me using a brush now to apply the glue, it's because I received a lot of comments. Uh, why don't I use a brush to apply white glue? Well, I don't know. Um, I prefer not to, to expose a perfectly good brush to something that could bring an uh, end to its use. So if I can use directly from bottle with safety, I will use it. But no problem, uh, yeah, it's also useful to use a brush. Make sure that the tip of the deck coincides exactly with the tip of the structure, okay? Because more ahead you will cut it and that can um, give you some trouble if the tip is not well aligned.
and we sand the deck make sure that everything is very well flattened at the same level uh, soft um, no protuberances on each piece of the deck because the planking is going to fit on top of it and you want it smooth And we start planking the deck. Uh, we start by identifying the correct uh, type of uh, wood strips on the instructions. And then we cut the planks and highlight the edges with a pencil. It's a new technique for me, but looks very cool indeed. We start planking the deck by fitting the first plank to the pencil line, uh, like you see in the instructions and in the video. Then we glue the planks tightly together uh, so that the joints are not visible, at least at my best attempt of doing that. And then we use contact glue or cobbler's glue as adhesive. Uh, we press the sheets against the deck so they, that they adhere firmly. And then we cut off any excess using a box cutter and sand the deck to a fine even surface like we did previously on the naked deck if I may say so and then we remove the dust from sanding apply a couple of coats of satin varnish um, the one that is uh, provided or any satin varnish at your um, will at your desire and we sand between coats to make it even and very well applied you will need a few hundred of these uh, these are just an example I am on the process right now of finishing the planking of the deck and um, it's a tedious but interesting. Uh, just be careful because on the superstructure, where the superstructure will uh, stand, you may uh, make any mistakes um, if you don't want to follow the procedures and the measurements of uh, the wood planks, no problem, but just be careful on the part that will be seen. As you can see, a lot of planking. And now we're going to apply cobbler's glue to start gluing the planking on the deck. And here, opinions sometimes divide and I agree. Um, we see on YouTube channel a lot of people, um, me also doing this, um, putting some adhesive tape, planking, putting the planks all uh, lined up and then filling it up with, uh, of course, uh, cobbler's glue. And then putting some cobbler's glue also on deck and when it's dry you apply and it's firmly uh, glued. However, it can be complicated but because if, if the planks are too to get too much uh, together um, they tend to glue each other you know and if they are too much apart uh, <laughs> well it's up to you to find your better way to do this okay um, sometimes it will be very artistic and very clean like here like you are watching right now but sometimes can be messy Sorry about the noise, but it started to rain outside. However, I don't consider it as a bad sound, right?
and I am still planking uh, this beautiful model of ochre. Um, if you like these kind of um, battleships, building these in uh, as a wood ship, replicating metal is sometimes not easy. It's not easy, but it's very interesting the whole process. So if you want to start by a basic kit, I recommend Albatross. I build it on this channel. Uh, you can see the video here on this channel also. And if you like a challenge, but like modern, like let's say modern uh, battleships, this is a very good option. And it's a very good kit, and I'm definitely keeping this build. This one, HMS Victory, and of course, Emerico Vespucci. So guys, for now, it's like it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, okay? Keep safe, keep safe above all, and as always, keep modeling guys, keep modeling, always, always, with a smile.